This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! I'm gay. He tried coming by earlier, but then he did. Oh, right, there's that weird chick, too. What are you still doing hanging around here? Uh, well, you see, this is my assistant. Are you here to object our investigation and make me into a laughing stock? Sebastian, I believe obstruct is the word you're looking for. In a way, I think his expression was apt. A pleasure meeting you again, Judge Courtney. I am. I know, you are Simon Ke Keys? Simon Keys, yeah. It is Simon Keys. You are Simon Keys, defense attorney, are you not? Well then, let's skip the formalities and celebrate our happy reunion with a hug. No. <laughs> uh, or maybe not. <laughs> She's like, second Francisca, but happy. Incidentally, I heard you mention an assistant a moment ago. Yeah, we're assistants at the Edgeworth Law Offices. Prosecutors are civil servants. To open a side business is to betray the goddess of law. As long as profit is not our objective, there shouldn't be a problem, right? Y yeah that's it Miles here is a volunteer worker. The purpose of my office isn't to make money. We're pro bono. What a wonderful heart you have, defending others without demanding payment. Ah, uh, <laughs> I, I, I do have an amazing charitable heart. More importantly, I'd like you to explain your reasons for arresting Simon Keys. There's no need to. It's not a challenge against me! No, I was speaking with Judge Courtney. I guess it can't be helped. If you want to take on the best, you will fall like the rest. I haven't said anything yet, but this is convenient. Then I will hear you out. What were your reasons for arresting Mr. Keys? I see no need to inform you. Sebastian, let us- <laughs> Just watch, Justine. Watch as I run around in circles around this useless prosecutor. I think you mean run circles around me. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, prepare yourself, Mr. Edgeworth. Pew. <laughs> Are you ready for the best testimony uh -huh, ever? I can't wait. Reasons for arrest. So, you want to know my reasons for arresting that man? It's still playing his theme song, not even the cross-examination music. Yeah, because he's got the same. <laughs> the answer is simple. Yes, we found traces of that guy over there. How's that? Perfectly simple, perfectly decisive. Right? Oh, he's got of the course. gavel thing. He's, the, he's got the, the, the weights the, of justice on The his... baton. Yeah, and the scale. Of course, I was the first to notice it because I'm the best. I'm the best! How am I supposed to go about pressing that? How's that? Got nothing to say? Speechless in my presence? <sighs> He's a 17 year old boy. This guy sure talks a lot. So, you're the one who arrested Mr. Keys, I take it. Mr. DeBest, do you have the right to do such a thing? Well, obviously it was the police who carried out the arrest. But since it was under my direction, shouldn't it also count as my arrest? <laughs> as I expected. Can you imagine this guy in high school? He's 17! I know! Like, <laughs> he's like wearing this whole getup. Kids must make fun of him so much. And he's like, I'm going to be a prosecutor! Just you watch, Just Justine! You watch. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be difficult to deal with both of them at the same time. However, her silence is troubling me. Just what is She's she like thinking? She's like this game's version of, um, I can't think of her name. Does it, Jenny? Save the pigeon! <laughs> no! No! You were doing no, that I'm, voice. That's not, that's my thinking voice. No, who does she remind me of? Was it from another Ace Attorney game? Yeah, what's her name? I'm, it's troubling me. What, describe the person. She sings and she flies. Le, le, la, le, me, roi. le me, roi. that was it. She's got that same, like, smile and, like... Uh, oh, oh, okay. As her. Reasons for arrest. Still no. just his theme song. You want to know my reasons for arresting that man? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get one thing clear. You do know who you arrested, right? What? Do you take me for a fool? The one I arrested was... Simon Keys. No doubt about it. 
I expected he'd at least understand that much. It's like Phoenix Wright. Uh, his name was Cin- Cinderblock. No! <laughs> <laughs> He's like conducting an orchestra here. Obviously, we had a fatal reason for arresting Simon. <laughs> it updated! <laughs> What? It updated the testimony. <laughs> oh. Really? That's quite a surprise. So what is this fatal reason for the arrest? Are you attempting to lure information out of me through flu flattery? Through flu flattery? If he screws up, it is totally fine. A good strategy, but I'm afraid it won't work on me. We have found vital evidence impl- implicating Simon Keys. That's what Sebastian was trying to say. Yes! So because of this fatal vital evidence, I had Simon arrested. The answer is simple. Yes, we found traces of that guy over there. That guy over there? That's certainly vague. Well, don't they say the best hears one thing and understands ten? You're just being lazy. Explain it more clearly. (laughs) Sebastian... If it's all right with you, would you please explain it to them in more detail? I'm sure that everyone wants to hear what you have to say. Hmm. All right, if you insist, Justine. We discovered that. Perhaps you didn't know, but the victim carried a chessboard with him. From it, we found that suspect, guys. I mean, Simon Keyes' fingerprints. Well done, Sebastian. I bless you on behalf of the goddess of law. Stop enabling him! <laughs> also, does he have... Is that like a little brooch thing on his coat? Or was he also stabbed? What are you talking about? There's a little tiny thing there. Is oh, that like no, that's button? like a pin. Is that that's like a, a pin? A it's like a special okay. pin. Yeah. Also, I love how his hair has a question mark. Yeah, that's what top. I was just thinking about. It's like a question mark. <laughs> do, 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 do. Please amend your testimony. Are you all right with that, Prosecutor Edgeworth? Y- yes. <laughs> the victim carried a chessboard. From it, we found Simon Key's fingerprints. Um, except, didn't he, like, not use it? Surely it wasn't you who discovered the fingerprints. Hey, I'm just a prosecutor, aren't I? I leave that stuff to the forensics team. They've got great voices. <laughs> <laughs> These fingerprints could be a problem. It wasn't the chessboard originally. Maybe I should take another look at the evidence. How's that? Perfectly simple, perfectly decisive, right? What's perfectly simple and decisive is how flimsy your testimony is. What are you saying? You just can't keep up with my train of thought! It may be presumptuous of me, but allow me to explain. The fingerprints found at the scene belong to the guards and the prisoners. The funny thing is, they're less than 10 years apart, but she's totally acting like his mom. (laughs) Oh, 100%. Oh, oh, my precious snowflake is doing a great job. (laughs) Her hair is a lightning bolt, by the way. It's a lightning bolt? Also, her hair is braided and then wrapped around her head multiple times. How long is her hair? Like, if it wasn't braided. No, okay, gonna be real with you, half of that hair is fake. Like, absolutely. (laughs) What? (laughs) <laughs> what a lot of girls will do is they'll do, like, they'll braid their hair up like this, and then they'll have, like, a headband or something that would look exactly the same. I think that's all actually her hair, though. Because, um, you know how some girls will, like, try and do a bun, and you're like, whoa, they have so much hair. A lot of times they'll buy these, like, donut buns things. That, donut like, bun? I love donut Yeah, bun. they, like, make, the, they look like they have way more hair than they actually do similar thing there. Also, it literally <laughs> looks like she tried to cut her hair, but they, like, sawed it, like, up to there, and she's like, that's good. I love how we've Even only actually had, like, 20 minutes of gameplay when we've been recording for 40 minutes. That's fine. <laughs> that's pretty normal. The fingerprints found at the scene belong to the guards and the prisoners. And the only ones that should not have existed belong to Simon Keys. This is becoming Francisca's voice. I'm just Sorry. saying. Sorry. <laughs> Be more British. More British. <laughs> yes, more British. exactly. Do you I'm... get it now, Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> I think she was turning to Francisca because she took out her gavel and then tried to hit him. <laughs> the real question is, do you get it? <laughs> the other prints belong to the victim and the guards. Yes, only Simon's prints are unnatural. If there are other people's fingerprints, then there should be more suspects. <laughs> I'm afraid that's not possible. <laughs> and why is that? Certainly, if not for Simon Key's prints, there would have been more suspects. Yeah, you're literally just turning her into Francis. I can't slight British this out. Why? What was 
I doing before? Like, certainly, if not certainly for Simon Key's prints, there would be have been more suspects. There would have been more suspects. However, his fingerprints should not have existed. Th that's right. After all, Simon is... Is neither a prisoner nor a guard. So naturally, he would have been allowed in the prison. Wouldn't have. Yes. <laughs> I said would. Wouldn't is the correct. Word. Also, next time Sebastian's like, oh, look at his hair. It goes from a, a question mark to an exclamation point. That's good. Oh, her hair. Her hair is curved. On, it's also a lightning. Point. Yep. I thought her hair was not all the way cut. Like, imagine if you took like scissors to someone's hair and you went snip, snip. You're good. <laughs> not all the way across. Oh. That's what I thought it was. And yet he left his fingerprints. I think that's enough reason for an arrest, wouldn't you say? Yes! Well done, Justine! You're welcome. <laughs> Do you like these two characters? Or are you like, I hate them, they're so annoying, but they're fun to voice. <laughs> I think they just don't fit. <laughs> they don't fit at all in this universe. I'm the first to notice it, because I'm the best. I'm the best! Yes. I already did that. First one to notice. Do you have any proof? I noticed it the very instant I saw the crime scene! <laughs> Faster than the speed of light! That's the best kind of proof! He's like doing that thing where you're like, I can squish someone's head from across the room! <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and what does that prove? Wahaha! <laughs> you still don't understand! But, don't feel too bad. You're simply not the best, unlike me. I don't think I want to understand. My reasoning is faster than- This is like the 12th update to the testimony. <laughs> It'll take you a light layer to get it. In short, I am the best. You do realize that a light year is not a measure of time. Oh? Uh? Sebastian, a light year is a unit of distance. Oh, right. Oh, I see it. That's cute. <laughs> what? This isn't the time for this. What is he saying? It's really vague and hard to understand. First, I'll have to teach him how to speak a language people can understand. Teach it to him, Professor Edgeworth. Yeah, it is Professor, Professor Edgeworth. <laughs> okay, I love this testimony because it's like so ludicrously over the toply stupid, and you would have to press it, but the more you press it, the harder it gets. <laughs> And then it's, it's and like, it punishes you, it basically. It punishes you for pressing it. That's odd by making it more complicated. <laughs> the only prints that belong are only... Um, where are Nightlies? Where are Nightlies? <laughs> yeah, it's like, which statement do you do not? Mr. DeBest, there is a contradiction in your statement. <gasps> eh? Is that true, Justine? It is not, Sebastian. It is Prosecutor Edgeworth's statement that is contradictory. Of course! There's no way there can be contradiction in my argument. Nah, Isn't it full of contradictions? My real problem is her rather is her rather than Mr. DeBest. He's not her out. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, this I had trouble with this testimony a lot on my first time, because I'm just like. There's so much wrong with it, which thing do we point out? Fingerprints on the chessboard. Is that the ace up your sleeve? Ace in my sleeve? Oh, ace up my sleeve? Yes, the methods I use are always the best. This ace is my trump card. <laughs> well then, allow me to show you that it is not, in fact, a trump card at all. Simon Keyes was the one who sent this chessboard to the victim in the first place. So it's only natural some of his prints would be left on it. Ah! That took way too long. <laughs> this let's play in a nutshell. <laughs> These fingerprints are hardly decisive evidence. Perhaps your arrest was a little too rash. Rash? To begin with, this incident occurred in the detention center and the prison. To suspect Simon just because he isn't a prisoner or a guard is a little unreasonable. Ah! But what? What's with him all of a sudden? <laughs> I finally get what you're trying to say. Rash. You mean we were too quick to arrest the guy, right? He was stuck on that? <laughs> sure, I was the first to lay eyes on him. And I was the first to notice the evidence. That was even faster. But I am not rash. Sure, Simon Keys isn't a guard or a prisoner, but... 
Overruled, that's it. Sebastian. Judge Courtney? What, what are you doing, Justine? Don't butt in like that! Pardon me, Sebastian. Yes, your words on the suspect are very interesting. There we are. However, shouldn't you get to the best part first? The best part? Why don't you tell them? About your wonderful reasoning regarding the murder weapon. Good one, Justine! Nice suggestion! Mr. Edgeworth, listen to my first-rate reasoning. Will this reasoning explain why you arrested Mr. Keys? I'm sure it will meet your expectations. Judge Courtney just changed the flow of the conversation. Just what is she planning? Also, Judge Courtney. She's in the court. That's like so good. <laughs> Justine. Justice. Yeah. Yeah. I think her Japanese name is Hakari Mikigami. Hikari Mikigami. Okay. I don't know what that... I don't actually know either, which is unfortunate. Murder weapons vocation. I think Hakami is like a type of sword. Oh, now we get the cross-examination music. It's obvious the murder weapon was a sharp metal object. However, the prison maintains strict control over potentially lethal items. So, that's why I've reasoned that the murder weapon was brought in from the outside. Yes, it was hidden inside that chessboard. And since only the victim and the suspect's fingerprints were found on the chessboard, isn't it obvious who brought and used the murder weapon? What is the murder weapon? At least it's clearer than his last testimony. It's the best reasoning you can get from prosecutor the best. How do you like that? Oh. Now he's mixing up the best with his own name. But couldn't someone really hide the weapon inside the gift sent to a prisoner? <laughs> You'll find a good place if you examine the inside of the chessboard. Inside the chessboard? Is there some place to hide a weapon? I- he's- I'm making- Sebastian's voice is making Edgeworth's or more British. More British. <laughs> when he's around more Brits, he sounds more British. As I thought, there are only chess pieces inside. <laughs> wow, what an annoying laugh. Inside the chessboard, huh? Perhaps I should examine it a bit further. This is... The top panel is removable. There's still gonna be an indentation. Like, if you're like, No one will suspect the knife I put in here. <laughs> no one will suspect the guard with the weird voice. <laughs> right, like, you would still see the... Because it's like felt. Yeah. Anything you put next to felt... And I know this because I... It might not be felt. It could be plastic. It could be plastic. It could just be... It's quite deep. Yes, there's more than enough room to hide a small knife. That's not a knife wound! Understand now? This is how the culprit smuggled in the- <laughs> Humph! What's with the humph? I wasn't even finished! He's crying. Mr. DeBest, there is something you have forgotten. There's a gate at the entrance of the detention center. Eh? Well, there is, but- he means the security gates with the metal detectors, Sebastian. That doesn't mean anything. At all. There are people who get stuff through airport security a lot, I'm sure. Unfortunately. I feel like it's rare. It happens. I have someone I know who maybe okay. got a knife through security. On him! Which is even more ridiculous! Wow. We had to pass through the same check when we entered the prison, remember? Ah! Ah! Yes! That's it! I remember now! Looks like he completely forgot. It would be impossible to smuggle a sharp metal object in into the detention center. Therefore, your reasoning never held, even from the very beginning. The gate is only used on people. In other words, packages sent to the detention center undergo a simpler check. So they don't use a metal detector for that? This never should have happened. It seems the guards were too careless. That's me, Justine. <laughs> Just more data. Why does that sound like a voice of, like, someone on a cartoon? Because I do the most over-the-top voices it's for the one-off guards. It's great. <laughs> Security gate data jotted down. Right, Justine. Thanks for the assist. You're welcome. Now then, Prosecutor Edgeworth, your cross-examination, if you please. Cross-examination. It's as if we were in the courtroom. 
Very well, his reasoning. Let's see how long it will hold up under pressure. It'll hold up like a pressure cooker. It's obvious the murder weapon was a sharp metal object. <laughs> Let me flex. <laughs> a sharp metal object. Do you have proof of that? Didn't you see the victim's wound, worthless prosecutor? The fatal blow was a stab to the throat. Ooh, ooh, change his hair to black. And he is Irk from Fire Emblem 7. Or Eric, or whatever. You know the guy with the, the mage, the... That's <laughs> Irk. Yeah. That's Irk. Yeah. Changes but completely hair. different personalities. Yeah, but I'm saying his look. He's like this skinny, wiry guy with I red I guess. Cape. Irk has longer hair. Do, 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 Irk's do, goes down below his, cute. like, to his neck. Uh, but his is In the front. Neck. Oh, does it? Yeah. Does he look kind of emo? Yeah. And the knife perfectly matches up with that. There can be no other explanation. I didn't push anything. Hmm. It seems they don't know about that piece of information yet. Wahaha! <laughs> Nothing to say. Speechless, aren't you, Mr. Edgeworth? I, I wish she was cross Right, next. The guy. There's plenty more to my reasoning. You mean Justine? No. I wish that the best was cross-examining a Phoenix? old Uncle Jay. Oh, R Uncle Phoenix. Ray. Uncle, I keep saying Jay. Uncle Jay. Jay. <laughs> Uncle Jay. That's no, in the knockoff game. No, that's. it's like when you play other games and then it's like, time to switch to this other character. You can be like, time to switch to Uncle Ray. <laughs> oh yeah, Ray is here. He just hasn't spoken. He has not. He's just like, I'm gonna let you handle this kid. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be back in ten minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna go hit on the warden some more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, I heard her office is a hot time. He, he, go, he goes to the office. Well, she definitely was, like, into in, him. Yeah. Even with the strict control, there were still some items that could be used, right? W well, yeah. Things like grooming scissors. Of course. There's more to this. Right, Sebastian? Uh, exactly. At the time of the incident, only one was being borrowed. However, there was no reaction when we tested it for blood. Those would be the scissors Mr. Sot was practicing with. <laughs> so the inside of the prison was completely clear of sharp implements. I feel like I'm not getting this guy's voice right. I think you are. I don't know. I, you didn't hear Sounds his like objection voice, did you, though? No. You, yeah, you were talking over it. <sighs> I've only heard it once. Can you be more specific about where it came from? Of course I can! It didn't come from inside the prison! Is he trying to sound smart? Simon Keyes brought it in. That's what we meant. Mr. Edgeworth, can't you even figure that much out? I'm disappointed in you! And you've disappointed me from the start. So Simon brought the murder weapon. But how, you ask? Yes, it was hidden inside that chessboard. No weapon was found at the crime scene. Not even inside the chessboard. So where did the murder weapon disappear to? I'd like to hear your answer to that. Th that's Well, after the crime, the culprit must have hidden it somewhere in the prison. Is there a problem with the statement DeBest just made? No, there doesn't appear to be a problem. Mr. DeBest, could you continue your testimony? Oh, uh, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, uh, the murder weapon was hidden inside the chessboard. And since only the victim of this... Was it really just their fingerprints you found? Humph, my pops always says. You may be foolish in youth, but you must not be stupid. I'm not stupid. What, what, what? Was that... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he means he's not stupid enough to tell a lie. Oh, I, I, I knew that. I'm not stupid enough to lie. <laughs> 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 so the fingerprints are the honest truth. I thought that said the hottest truth. <laughs> Isn't it obvious that it's the hottest truth? <laughs> I don't know why. I think my eyes were like... Woo, woo. Well, you read Bug Bite as Bug Hole earlier, so, I mean... <laughs> I forgot about that! So, can you tell us exactly what? who this person was? What case? Was that the first That's case? That's just the first case of this game! With the president going, Oh, the mole on my forehead! <laughs> it's the Bug Hole! That's it, that's it. Wahaha! <laughs> the culprit is you! Uh, Simon isn't here. Such a pitiful man. 
Not even. We best go gently on him. I see. I just wanted to tease him. D don't make fun of me! That last testimony sure seemed like faulty reasoning. Judge Courtney helped him out. No, the argument was entirely her own reasoning. In that case, this will be tough. Got anything up your sleeve, Miles? Of course. They don't know all the facts. This reasoning doesn't appear to have any weak points at first glance, but... But on closer inspection, there's a hole, right? There's a bug hole. I should impress them to draw out more information and then find the hole in their logic. I'll strike first and take hold of any clues I find. There's a problem. The murder weapon is hidden inside the prison? I don't think so. It's clear from this piece of evidence. What shows that the murder weapon can't be inside the prison? The dog? Oh, is it just the security tape? The door sensor? Security footage. I think it's this. What? That's your proof? Indeed, this makes it clear. Sebastian, that doesn't prove a thing. Oh, oh, I knew that. Knew that? Gah, that wasn't right after all. Well then, if you have proof, then hurry up and show us. I must have evidence that shows the murder weapon is not inside the prison. Mr. DeBest, this evidence proves it. Oh, you literally can't back out. <laughs> I forgot Morgan. about that. <coughs> Have you completely forgotten your own actions? You, along with Warden Roland, conducted a search of the prison. But you did not find the murder weapon, right? What? <laughs> That's... We must have overlooked something! This guy just is completely contradicting himself. You carried out such a sloppy investigation? I'm amazed that you call yourself the best. Are you mocking me?! Sebastian, please calm yourself. Don't get caught up in the opponent's pace. I'm fine, Justine. Did you really think the best prosecutor would be shaken by someone miles behind him? <laughs> <laughs> wow, they really had to translate that. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. This is where I'm like, I'm just like, I'm so impressed with this translation. I wish he'd stop messing around with other people's names. Well, in that case, Kate Barde is far, far ahead! Okay, don't you get caught up in this too! It does make sense, though, that a lot of the puns could translate, because when the team originally translated some of the names from Japanese to English, uh, like Phoenix Wright, for instance, like they mm -hmm. always make jokes like, Phoenix Wright, more like Phoenix Wrong! <laughs> yeah. like, stuff like that. His Japanese name is like, Naruhodo. Which literally means, I know the right answer. Mm -hmm. So people always make fun of him, like, oh, you know the right answer, yeah, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. And so then when they thought about that, they were like, oh, we'll make the mm. names in the in the dub, the dub. Right. The names in the English version, the same. So a lot of, like, puns with Miles is probably the same, but they had to translate this dude. Yeah, he was such a pain in the neck to translate, apparently. That makes sense. <laughs> yes, if my best investigation didn't find anything. Then there must have not been a single weapon in the prison. I think his Japanese name, it's its like Yumihiko, like Ichigayami or something. Yumihiko. I, and the, his last name literally means like, I think number <laughs> one. I was about to say, I think Yumihiko, because it starts last name, first name. I think that means number one. Yeah, I think his full name like means two different things. One is like, I want to be number one. And the other is like, to, to shoot a bow without having an arrow notched. <laughs> Because because Edgeworth's name apparently is like a sword and shield or yeah. like a spear and shield yeah. in Japanese, and they like they made him a bow and arrow to like be like a foil to that. Yeah, that's so brilliant. <laughs> then there must not have been a single weapon in the prison. In that case, there's only one possibility: the criminal must have taken the murder weapon with him when he left the prison. Oh yeah, you're making him sound a lot more whiny now. <laughs> so it's only natural we didn't find it in there. Yeah. There was no way the culprit could have brought the weapon out of the prison. Eat free, free, free. And this prison. piece of evidence shows why. There's no way they could have brought the warden out of prison. The what? weapon. Uh, cause. 
There's no way they could have brought the weapon out of prison, and it's cause of the security gate. Have you completely forgotten your own testimony? Y you That's twice you've insulted me! <laughs> oh, it seems you remember what I said earlier. Okay, I'm liking the voice I'm giving him now. <laughs> but you do well to remember further than that. What is that? This guy, he really doesn't remember anything. It seems that way. The detention center and the prison are equipped with security gates. Anyone leaving must pass through these gates. Gates equipped with metal detectors. Nah! That's what you... Looks like he remembers now. Yes, there's no way someone could have brought the murder weapon through those gates. And so the criminal could not have taken it out of the prison either. Well then, Prosecutor Edgeworth, do you know where this murder weapon went to? Perhaps the weapon is still inside the prison. But but we couldn't find it anywhere in the prison! <laughs> the reason you didn't find it is because you believed it to be a sharp metal object. We saw it the very moment when Mr. Knightley was attacked, after all. If you can say that much, then perhaps you could enlighten us. What would you say is the murder weapon in this case? From this piece of evidence, the murder weapon of this case becomes obvious. From the piece of evidence, we the security footage? Here is the footage from a security camera. It shows one of the cells in the detention center. See it with your own eyes. Guard, can you please pull up the clip? Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't want you. It does literally look like he's just getting attacked by a Pokemon, though. It's just, like, so small and so black. What? <laughs> this? It can't be! <sighs> this tape clearly shows the moment the victim was attacked by a black dog. I believe this is sufficient proof, wouldn't you say? Indeed. This is vital evidence. Horace Knightley was killed in the detention center by that dog. After that, the body was moved to the prison workroom. Oh. Our witness claims to have seen a dog in the workroom when the body was found. Of course, a dog couldn't have planned this crime on its own. However, there is someone who could have. That's enough, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Judge Courtney. It's true that this camera footage is vital evidence. However, there is something else you must prove. Actually, you've already noticed it, haven't you? It's just as she says. There is still a huge flaw in my reasoning. If that black dog is a prisoner's pet, how was it able to move between the detention center and prison? Da! Ah! What will we do, Mr. Edgeworth? I still don't know how the dog managed to move from one place to the other. I knew it! I think the warden really likes the puppy! <laughs> what? You're one to talk? You don't know either! If you do not solve this mystery, I'm afraid I cannot accept your logic. If this was a real courtroom, I would call for a recess now. What? Wait! I'm not finished yet! Court has been adjourned. Leave at once. This isn't a courtroom! Well then, as I said, court is adjourned. I can't prove my argument, but is it the same with Mr. Keys? Whichever do you mean? Just as I don't know how the dog entered the detention center, you also don't know how Simon Keys entered the detention center and prison. Although he came to visit the victim, he was an outsider to the prison. Don't you think it would be difficult for him to commit a crime inside the prison? Judge Courtney, now the burden of proof lies with you. Show us evidence that Simon Keyes entered the prison. She's like, I don't have to. <laughs> you want me to present evidence. I'm happy to oblige. What? Does she really have evidence? It's about time I told you. Now that I know the basis of your reasoning, Prosecutor Edgeworth. What is she thinking? It seems you don't even know Simon Keyes' real of occupation. He is a circus performer. A circus performer? 
Yes. Have you ever heard of the Berry Big Circus? Circus? Ah! But of course, yesterday was a day that I wouldn't have missed for the world. Wouldn't have missed for the world? Did you have some kind of important meeting? Oh, heavens no, I despise meetings. It was the animal show, of course. It seems you've realized. On the day of the incident, an animal show was being performed at the prison. And the show was put on by the Very Big Circus. So then, do you mean Simon is... Simon Keyes entered the prison as a staff member of the animal show. That we know for a fact. The, no! The, this woman! She's been concealing this fact the whole time! She only planned to reveal it after hearing my reasoning. Come to think of it... Wh what are you doing, Justine? Don't butt in like that! Pardon me, Sebastian. Yes, your words on the suspect are very interesting. However, shouldn't you get to the best part first? Mr. DeBest was going to say it then, but she stopped him. <laughs> How do you like that with this prosecutor? You didn't do anything! <laughs> <laughs> well then, now it really is time for a recess. I'll end with some advice. I have already doubted your abilities as a prosecutor. Wow, that's hard. Not Sebastian's, who's not a Sebastian. literal idiot, but <laughs> us, yes! <laughs> Which is why I relieved you of your authority. You'd best not forget that. What are you trying to say? The PIC can still take away your badge. If you value your badge, I'd advise you not to show your face before me again. Is that a threat? The goddess of law is merciful, but that doesn't mean you can get away with everything. And one more thing. I must digress. I suggest you stop with this defense attorney act. That's none of your concern. I don't intend to abandon a case I'm involved in so easily. For defense attorneys, a relationship of mutual trust with their client is vital. It is very different from the way of the prosecutor. In any case, you didn't even know about your client's occupation. Nah. Well then, I must be going. May the blessings of the goddess of law be upon you. And then she walks away. Oh, poise. And then he walks away. And then I walk away, cape fluttering in the breeze. <laughs> Did Simon lie to us? Is this gonna be Brandy Swirling Part 2? Brandy Swirling Part 2? <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> it seems he lied to Uncle Ray, too. I wonder what his occupation in the circus is. <laughs> this complicates matters. Why'd he do that? Wait, seriously. Like, I'm a clown. Is he clown? <laughs> Maybe he could be clown. Well, because Mo became the new Rain Master. He's the clown, but he's not fat enough. You could do have to wear, like, a fat Skinny suit. Skinny clowns are creepy. <laughs> They're pretty creepy. The, skinny cons, you mean Ronald McDonald? <laughs> like, and that's yes! it. Yes! And, and Beppy the Clown. Is that from It? That's from Cuphead. It is Pennywise. Pennywise. Pennywise is also a skinny clown. <laughs> hey, hey, Miles, don't remind me about clowns. <laughs> don't tell me you've already got cold feet. Courtney Pye is quite a handful, but giving up is still uncool. The defense attorney's creed is to never give up. Remember, you're my assistant. Uh huh. Of course, I don't plan on giving up either. It's just... My theory that he couldn't enter the prison no longer holds. It looks like we'll have to investigate once more. Well, we'll have to do that next time That's on Ezra 2. That's I, I love that jingle so much. Uh, Thanks for watching, everybody! Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, this was gonna be a great let's play, but I didn't know it was gonna be this great. Why do people watch us? I don't know if people do watch these, honestly. <laughs> I if I'll say this, if I could choose one series that we do for to get more views, it would be this one. Either this one or the putt putt series. Oh, our putt putt one. My putt putt series get some of the most views. Oh, really? Yeah, but I want people more people to watch this. Anyhow, tune in next time. Maybe we'll talk with Simon more. Marty's predicting Brandy swirling part two. <laughs> maybe maybe Brandy swirling part two. But well, this time it's a clown and, dude. And <laughs> Artie, Artie has revealed, I do know Regina's in this. Yes. So. We still have to meet her. Maybe this is the new boy. 
Maybe Regina's like, I'm over this other guy. I'm going to hang out with him. And then he's like this utter murderer disaster. And he's like, me, me. He's like, because he's a clown. We don't even almost, know if he's a clown. I almost, I almost said he was a ghost. <laughs> he's a ghost, which is why the metal detector didn't pick him up. Have a great day and God bless. <laughs>